Hi, I'm Joshua Finn from J&H Aerospace. This is the P1B0 Skywalker. This is the trimming video for this airplane, so we're going to show you how it flies. If you can't tell in the background, it's kind of windy, so bear with us. Um, wind is coming from that direction, so what we'll do is we'll rearrange the camera and whatnot so you can see um, where we're gliding, and we'll work our way from there. Wind's coming from everywhere, so we're going to do what we can here. Uh, you should probably not trim this airplane in high winds, or any airplane in high winds. We do this so you don't have to. So, got the airplane here. Okay, so I don't know how well that test glide showed up, but the airplane kind of headed out, kind of, you know, bounced around a little bit. Showed a little bit of a right turn, possibly. Okay, so we will give you one more test glide here, but uh, basically what you're, all you're looking for with the glide is that the airplane flies along fairly smoothly. You can, it's okay if it turns one way or the other. Um, the main thing that you're looking for is that it doesn't drop a wing or what have you. If it does, check for wing warps. If, uh, if the wings are, as in warps, like one wing is twisted like that or that, something of that nature, Make sure that's all taken care of. Um, if it still tends to turn, look for the uh, turn too tightly. Look at your rudder, possibly bend the rudder one way or the other. Um, if it's stalling a lot or what have you, assuming you've balanced it uh, so the CG is about the middle of the wing, um, probably uh, add, adding some up elevator, or sorry, some down elevator to correct stalling, or up elevator to correct diving, that type of thing. Um, those are all things you want to do before you start giving it power. So we'll give it one more test glide. That looks all right. My wood. So now we're going to try applying some power. So again, slide that nose forward like so, and then start cranking away on the prop. Once you build up a little bit of torque, um, the prop will stay out like that. I don't know how well that's showing up to you, but it's there. It's staying out like it's supposed to. Now, my prop is, has a little bit of right thrust, so you're looking from the bottom, so the prop is angled down here. That's to the right. Um, and that's because the little key over here uh, protrudes back a little too far, so it pushes the nose block over there to the, to the right. Um, I'm actually leaving that because uh, I, I want to see how well the airplane will go turning to the right. Uh, the manufacturer has insisted to me that trimming these to the right does make them fly better, and from a theory side, uh, I agree with that. I trim most of my outdoor planes to the right, uh, but the average uh, newbie to flying model airplanes is not going to really understand all of that. So anyway, we've cranked in a, a fair number of turns, so let's see what this airplane does. So I'm holding the airplane like so. Uh, doing it one-handed like this is a little awkward, but get the prop going, let it go, and away it goes. It's kind of wandering a little bit. A little bit of a stall under power. And there comes some of the glide. So a couple things we saw there. Um, the airplane is just kind of weather vaning a little bit to be expected in the wind, but it was stalling some. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give it just a little bit of right rudder there as the, the glide turn was a little um, off as well. Now one thing that did happen is the uh, propeller stopped caught and then the propeller actually, the entire nose bearing popped loose there. So if that happens to you uh, repeatedly, um, a couple things you can do. One is to start to build up uh, like tape or something around the part that goes inside to uh, tension that up a little. Another is to shorten the rubber motor a little bit so there's a little bit less slack. Um, all sorts of little tricks that you can do to mitigate that, but the main thing is you want that prop to lock in. And um, so those are things I'm going to do if it continues to, to be finicky about that. Uh, some of that is when it gets tossed around in turbulence, the just the momentum of the propeller banging around and whatnot on the end of the fuselage is going to upset things. So, like I said, we'll uh, get creative here. If it, if it does it again, I'll get a razor blade and start cutting in there a little bit uh, onto that notch to 
let it further back in there and what have you and we'll get that to uh, correct itself but for now I'm going to wind this up a little more we know it's not going to do anything too outlandish and um, bear in mind this rubber motor can take about 200 turns at full power um, don't want to go too much over that unless you're stretch winding and being careful monitoring torque and whatnot wound up about as much as it's really going to want to take. Alright, so same drill as before. Quite breezy. Still a little bit of a stall, drifting off to the left this time. I don't know what that's all about. It's flying nicely. Let's see if the propeller stop works this time. It did not. Okay. Okay, so I did a static test um, on the uh, propeller after I cut in that notch. did a static test and it was still actually popping out, but it was, um, the nose was popping out before the propeller was even latching back. So I realized that means that there was a little too much friction on the uh, sliding mechanism. Eh, there we go the uh, sliding mechanism here and so what I did was I squirted it with ballastol which is a uh, an oil-based lubricant you want to keep that off of the rubber motor or it will um, deteriorate it very quickly but anyway we should see a uh, little bit of an improvement in our propeller folding action now all right so we got our plane here it's windy you shouldn't fly in wind um, or at least for trimming but anyway there we go, and up over the top it goes, flopping around, getting thrown all over the place, and... Well, it did sort of fold before it got tossed into a bush. Okay, so I gave it a little bit of left rudder here, since it doesn't seem to be wanting to hold a uh, steady right turn. It does seem to want to drift a little to the left. So what we're going to do is we're going to launch it to the left of the wind, in a left bank, kind of like that right there and away it goes and that was overkill oopsies and still stalling a little bit there but oh that's interesting definitely stalling repeatedly under power but there we go in our glide okay so I think it needs a touch of nose down trim Added just a tiny little bit of down elevator, just that much. And away it goes. Beautiful little stall there that is quite turbulent. The air is kind of active out here, so. And bonk. Alright, I have a feeling we're getting about as much as we can get in these conditions. Um, trimming is just kind of difficult when your plane's getting thrown around like a really like a paper bag yeah not working all right we're gonna try this once more here yeah that needs stuff. Alright, so what we did is I bent this tip up a little bit uh, to try to flatten it out so it doesn't crank over to the left quite so hard. And we've got a fair amount of down elevator that uh, we put in actually before that previous flight. Take out a touch of it. Alright, we've switched to um, uh, four strands of 332nd because I broke the other rubber motor. But anyway, away we go. Very nice there. And a big stall because the conditions are just that unfavorable here. It's trying hard. And don't know how well you can see that, but off gliding there. Nice. Boy, 
That may be a problem. It's in a giant normal right there. Don't know how well y'all can even see that. Just kind of hanging up there in the sun and clickety clackety. Prop is finally folded. Now it's gliding down, getting thrown all over the place. Fortunately, I think it's drifted out of the core of that thermal. That is impressive stuff right there. And it's out. I gotta figure out where it went. I think it hit a tree. Oopsies. Well, that has been the trimming video such as it is for the P1B0 uh, Skywalker. Um, sorry we didn't get any real clean flights, but we got it up in thermals, uh, showed you how nice it can fly. Um, for those wondering, if you haven't seen already, down in the, well, in the, on the product page there's a link to 330 second rubber you can get from us, or you can get it from FAI Model Supply, Valera Products, PEC Polymers, so on. Um, but anyway, that's kind of how, how she trims out. The final trim that I had was a little bit of down and left rudder, and then... Uh, that little bend in the wing tip to keep it from spiraling into the left uh, and that seems to have worked out pretty well for the trim so uh, climbs to the left glides to the right pretty nice deal um, anyway questions comments put them in the comments section below I'll see you later hi I'm Josh Finn this is Hope we are J&H Aerospace if you like this video hit the like button also how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.